Hello again. Let me ask you, have you ever had something so horrible happen to you that you just felt completely hopeless? The prophet Jeremiah did. Back when the Babylonian army swept into Jerusalem multiple times until everything was destroyed and taken away in 586 BC, and Jeremiah himself was taken away to Egypt, Jeremiah was at a total loss. Now, the amazing thing about Jeremiah is that he was only 17 when God called him to tell everyone about the coming judgment on God's people. It was a tough thing for such a young man to do. Thankfully, God also had Jeremiah share words of hope with God's people. And pretty much dead square in the middle of the book of Lamentations is a message of hope. Here's what Jeremiah had to say in Lamentations chapter 3 and verses 19 through 26. Remember my affliction and my wandering, the wormwood and bitterness. Surely my soul remembers and is bowed down within me. This I recall to my mind, therefore I have hope. The Lord's loving kindness indeed never ceases, for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I have hope in him. The Lord is good to those who wait for him. To the person who seeks him, it is good that he waits silently for the salvation of the Lord. Maybe you've had it tough lately. Maybe you've wondered if God really is faithful, or if God has forsaken you, or if whatever you're dealing with, you just kind of feel like everything you care about has been taken away, or that you feel like you've got no reason to live, or you're in constant pain and you can't find relief. Maybe you feel like your prayers are going nowhere, that no one understands your pain, that you simply have come to the point where you just feel totally hopeless. Well, if you're feeling any of those feelings, then you can relate to Jeremiah. And you can learn from Jeremiah. And one of the things that we can learn from him is that it's okay to be brutally honest with God. You know, go to him in prayer and just pour out your heart about everything. It's also okay to honestly express your feelings to those around you, just like Jeremiah did. But it's not okay to stay there and to brood and to, you know, wish death upon yourself. That's not okay, all right? And that's because, like Jeremiah shared with us in verse 22, the Lord's loving kindness indeed never ceases, for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I have hope in him. Jeremiah lost everything, yet he remembered his hope in God because of God's promises. And if you feel that way too, remember to hope in God because great is his faithfulness. And he, well, he will remember you. So have hope in him. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for blessing us with this time that we could come together and, and talk a little bit about the struggles that your prophet Jeremiah went through. And fathers, we think about the own, our own troubles in our life today, no matter what they might be. Father, help us to look to you for strength and for guidance and for direction, Father. Father, hear our prayers. Deliver us, Father. We thank you so much for being our God and for giving us hope. In Jesus' name, amen. Again, I want to thank you for spending a few minutes with me this afternoon. God bless.